Welcome to the April Podcast. This is episode 32. And we got Earl back. Uh, we have the bracket back. And, you know, I like having conversations with kids because grown ups never ask me what my third favorite reptile is. <laughs> Okay, What's up, before... guys? Oh. Mardi Gras Man 2-3 <laughs> here, and it is time for the A Fool Podcast, and we have got a lot to talk about. We hope we can get through it. Uh, at some point, we might go dark, depending, <laughs> on, depending on, our, on my signal. So I'm Earl, a.k.a. Mardi Gras Man. You guys know me. You guys all know Joey. This is Brick Train's channel, and the one and only... Jabo, the owner of the world's largest brick uh, tipper truck army and not the largest tipper truck in the world. Somebody call Guinness. Yeah. Um, brick Fair, Alabama yeah. in January 2022. Guinness World Records needs to be there. I'm calling them out right now. <laughs> two records. Two records. Two, the two. largest and the most. The most copies of one set built. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'll bring one to help. Just throw it in case there's somebody else. Just go. This is, uh, just gonna have gonna have to go to the print shop and make some <laughs> color print, some color uh, printed instructions, so nobody can say you don't have the instructions to go with each set. Oh, somebody asked me how how much or I think uh, how big an instruction manual would be because it's so many pieces. <laughs> oh my oh, man, <laughs> seventeen books. One for each piece, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so I got something that I'm kind of embarrassed about. I saw in your other video with the little ring. Yeah. You know how long this little piece has been sitting on my desk and I fiddle with it during this podcast? Oh, my. You didn't... <laughs> I didn't know. I never wasn't... thought about it. And I never. Me neither. I probably have seen it in TransClear and it didn't click with me. And I. But. Just a simple comment somebody leaves on my video, and I'm like, uh -huh. oh. and "This cheaper solution only takes three of them, as opposed to four macaronis." Well, it, and I guess in my mind, I kept thinking, you know, I knew there was not a what was that a four by four circle solid yeah. in trans, uh, but yeah, for whatever reason, I just got kind of zeroed in on the macaroni. You kept, you know, I was like, uh -huh. and that, that's never. more stable. So, and it it leaves me open to do. Uh, uh -oh. Trans trans dark blue now. So so that that piece right there mm. has the, the it has the hole in the middle to put around the two by two or is that one yep. solid? Yeah. So do they yeah. have the solid plate also in trans? No, that, and that's what I kept okay. looking for. I didn't know. Oh, I got look, you. I got look you. For this. Yeah, and, I think I have some of those in my in my store. <laughs> yeah. Of these. I think I, I do. <laughs> Yeah. So I went, I mean, I went, as soon as I read the comment, I went and bought some from Brock's Bricks, which he's in Tennessee, and they, they came in two days. I got those today <laughs> as we're filming this. But I was like, wait, what sets are they in? And there, I think the most was like two in a set, which was that um, trans. trans uh, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's, it's on sale at Walmart. And I, I went and one Walmart only had like four of them. So I went to two Walmarts, picked them <laughs> up, and I said, I'm going to do this today. <laughs> it has become a real passion project for you yeah. to get this. <laughs> I've never been uh, obsessed about building anything. And the, the, the uh, It's not ironic. I don't know what the word is, but for somebody who's only been collecting sets his whole life right. and not done mocks. Mocks. I've been more obsessed about this than anything I've ever done with Lego. And I, and I was already thinking of other things I want to do. And I, and I wish I had the resources to get like enough bricks to make bigger. Sets. Well, I, think, that, yeah. I think you, sh you should do the uh, set 600 next. The police car. I, I want to do that one. Um, it's, I'm going to, I'm going to have to stick right now with um, the pre minifigure stuff. <laughs> uh, until I figure out how to do the weird things like that one, I'm Defenders. like, I don't want to make a giant sticker. I'd like to print the, mm. the oh uh, yeah, yeah. The police thing, or I could since it's a sticker. I mean, I I guess I could make it. That's what the guy that did the yellow castle. He made giant stickers, Maybe. so I, I could probably make the sticker. But it goes across 
plates. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's the only option with that one. Get a somebody to make me a sticker. But I want to do some from like Joey's been doing on his channel. Subscribe to Brick Trains. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to Mardi Gras Man Two Three. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been doing some of those old vehicles. Yes. And the, the, the mini wheels. The the ambulance can be done, and it'd be a lot easier than anything than, than the tipper truck. And then another one is a police car. There's a police mm -hmm. car. But it's not. I don't know if it's in that series, but it's. I don't the think same it's in style. that series. Yeah, it's in the same style. Right. Well, that, that means you're gonna have, you're gonna have to dig out yours, your regular sets, or it'd probably be faster for you to order another one. <laughs> I'm, I'm well, most of those, like, like I got like three of the ambulance and then the police car. I can probably piece it together because it's common, it's all common pieces, right? Um, but now so have you learned, to, go ahead. Do you think you've learned how to that plate that's uh, in, uh in the there's middle some flaws have a plate. lot of strength? Have, yeah. have you, you have ideas to strengthen it? Somebody, I think it was Drew. Bits or I can't remember who it was, but they said um, try building it with plates instead of bricks. Like, um, right? But then I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if that will work too. The problem is you can't build it thick, solid, because then it won't connect below it. Right. The there is because uh, I noticed you were having trouble with uh, the. Well, I'm assuming as the older trans pieces, it yeah. didn't seem to want to. There is a problem. You got to be careful when you start stacking enough plates. And I don't know where it is. It's probably 10 or 20, but it, 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 more than you're getting into. But they, they will be off. Yeah. You, you, it won't line up. Well, it was off on really one tall. side, which was weird. Yeah. But that's. I did, I did break it at one point when I was rebuilding it because I had tried it. Like I put it. Um, when I after I built the plates, and then I when I as soon as I built the windshield, I tried I stacked it on there, and then I put the two brick, and then I put the other brick. So I just did those on the table to make sure, it, and it worked. But then when I this that was before I added the um, those round pieces. Oh, okay. So I had done that like a few weeks ago, and then it's like. Yeah, for whatever reason. But I wanted to do it all like the build. I wanted to do it. It wasn't live, but it was like that was my build of it. So you got to see all the see, problems. Yep. Yep. Um, you do need to get you a little rubber hammer. Yeah. And kind of that does help uh, get all your bricks. I think I should put the build the windshield on the plate with the bricks first and then put it on the the uh pl the, the four by ten plate after mm -hmm. I connect those. But yeah. we'll see. It's, yeah. it, I'm I was so happy with it and I want to do bigger things. So the, um the, <laughs> the the best moment was when it actually rolled. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, it's like <laughs> it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a large tipper trick. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. So I'm going. I'm going on. I had an order, or I started an order on bricks and pieces because I wanted. I do want to make the wheels look more like the uh, the to stud. get a stud in there. Yeah. So there, there's the. I can get the parts on bricks and pieces for that instead of buying it from somebody on Bricklink. But I, I also need to figure out what parts I'm going to need for other large scale stuff that I'm going to build. Yeah. You you have you have hopes of getting some more round pieces, don't you? Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> like it's something like a one by one round brick or a two by two round brick. How would I make that in six times the scale or a wheel, a bigger wheel? Like wheel, yeah. this is the small wheel, you know, on the tipper truck. But yeah. how would you do like the, the original wheels from the old sets? Right. Like, somebody said, do the London bus. And I was like, oh, all I got to do is figure out how to do the windows mm. <laughs> and the wheels and everything else I can do. Windows probably wouldn't be too hard because you just use bricks. Yeah, I think you get the window. The wheel is going to be difficult. That's mm -hmm. eh. so. I was looking at the. You know, there's the giant red gear from yep. the gear set. It's the right. It's a close to the right size for uh, six times the width, length, height wheel. Because it's you could put four. You could put four studs on it. 
Oh, okay. It's just like it would be. It have. It's like how would I hide those the teeth? Yeah, that would be the flange for the for the the train wheel. Like if you did it for a train set, because that's what I was thinking. Oh man, a train. <laughs> so I, that's a, that's when I was driving around work today. I was like, I want to try to make the blue track. Oh, I, I think wow. that's what I'll start with. If I can do the blue track, then all I got to do is oh, figure out the wheels. What well, about the, the seventy-eight ten? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it'd be the same thing. Just figure out the wheels and the windows. Yeah, because I don't um, think it. Because it's got that big. The bigger the plate, the more structural problems I have. So that's the only problem. And like the the trains I were thinking of had a six by sixteen plate, so I know that would not have much um, rigidness. <laughs> Right, yeah. Yeah, the plates are just going to naturally just... Eh. I could probably come up with a better way, though, a, a better pattern. There's probably a, a pattern that I could do that would be better than what I did. Yeah. Well, I'd say the best thing is don't do it like a lot of those people did the bridge building at Brick Fair. <laughs> They yeah, seem can, to always fall. <laughs> well, you know, the first time I built the four by ten plate, I had that. I had that where there was like a get. Uh, Just, it was know. like there was only like two bricks. I'm like, how did I miss that? Yeah, I'm like, it's really kind of easy to to. You think you're offsetting it, but you offset it by one or two sets, and then all of a sudden you have this nice little diagonal split. Yeah, that you can't do the. Holds. Yeah. You got to go back and forth. It's 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 layers. You have to yes. do layers. Yeah. In crisscross, crush cross right. exactly back and forth. Yeah. So, okay, with only a few layers, it's hard to do. So anyway, it is. <laughs> no, you're right. It, it's that'll always be tough to get the proper stability out of it. Okay, so speaking of things that we like, have you seen the new issue of Brick Journal issue seventy? Did you get yours yet? Mine just came today. No. Oh, I wonder if I, my subscription ran out. Oh well, <laughs> that. Is Fabuland? Somebody built a Fabuland city. Somebody built a Fabuland set. Who was it? Uh, Dale Harris. I guess he's in Australia. Mm -hmm. But there's a really cool. This is not sponsored by Brick Journal or Brick Set, but <laughs> there is a really cool Fabuland city in there that uh, interesting. I think you're gonna like. Yeah. So I don't know. Hopefully, you got yours. Will be in the mail here in a few days. I'll go check and see if I ordered it. I didn't. I don't remember getting an email recently, like of the digital copy. So I may have. For, I thought I did a six month subscription, but I've, it seems like I've only gotten three or four issues. Oh, and all the uh, Mania magazines are now on Brick Set. All, all of them. All, yeah. So Brick Kicks and Mania magazines are all on there. I'm only missing two, but I was able to get a picture from someplace. <laughs> so i might later get with you to you know just to because they're not very big pictures so there's two of them up there that are kind of small but the rest of them are good sized pictures but yeah so that's another 46 items if you're you know if 46. you have them all i think it's 46 yeah they did four so four, four a year so here's a yeah. here's a question for you who was it that told that can see the uh the top five. Uh, Duck Bricks. It's the guy. He's, he's in California. That's yeah. got. He's got like six thousand sets, so he you can should, see. You should. You should DM or get in touch with Duck Bricks and see if that person checked all those ones that Joey just put on there. Right. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I. So. <laughs> I, it tells you on the Brick Set website how many items are there are. Right, which is it was like seventeen thousand and something, and I was like that's how many he had checked. So that means he he checked, he even checked like every version of a video game, because some of them there's like eight different versions of the same game depending on if you got PlayStation, Game Boy, whatever. He checked all of those. So right now, and I just picked up a random one. So February of nineteen ninety five. There are only two people that say they own the uh, Mania magazine for January 1995. Okay. One of them is me because I checked it and I put it in. So one other. So 
could be that guy or some honest <laughs> I mean, guy. Does he check? Uh, oh, let me check to see if there's. How does he know which ones he doesn't have checked? <laughs> well, so you know, if you go to, if you go to um, news added, yeah, I bet you that's now, where he used, it. Yeah, it used to a lot of the stuff. Hughes changed that now, and only it looks like only news, or maybe it's a setting I have for for what I see, but. I only see the newest stuff. I used to see anything new that was added, but it seems like now I only see if it's like a new item, you know, new to the database, but also a new item coming from Lego. Oh. So it may be somehow the way I've got it set. Yeah. Cause it used to be, I'd see new stuff, even if it was something from 30 years ago. Right. But then if, to... Right, right, right. If you, but if you hit that more button underneath that, or when I, when I hit the more button underneath it, then it shows everything. So, uh, you know, so like all the mania magazines or the brick journal issue 70, see, that's interesting. Cause that's a new thing and it didn't show up, but it is, mm. it is the newest thing added to, cause I just mm. added it like 15 minutes ago. Okay. So. <laughs> well, it may not update till after midnight. Maybe. Whatever maybe. Schedule is. Yeah. Yeah. So, I know a lot of his stuff does that. The duck bricks also told me that the number two person had, like 17,000 also. So you got two people that are just, and and the gopher Bob, he does have more sets than me, I think. I mean, but why are, I'm not, I act like I'm sounding mad, but I'm like, why, why are you checking everything? And it's like duck bricks. I know what he, he's, he's done videos on his sets. It's like, he's right. got, he's got video proof that he right. owns this, these things. Yeah, and and the the check boxes on bricks that you can customize them. So if they're using mm -hmm. the the I own it mm -hmm. for some other reason, whatever that may be, they could you know you could customize one of the other ones to just say whatever that reason is, other than mm -hmm. just saying I own it. And I, maybe they do. Maybe they own every one of them, every version of that video game, <laughs> <laughs> and every Mania magazine that was just added. Okay. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> well, hang on. I gotta check the score here. Where are we? Is the Cardinals still winning? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. You, you're a Cardinals fan. Yes, I am. I guess they're the closest team to Indiana. The, well, that, but yes. We, we, I want yeah. the Cardinals to win. Even though they knocked the Braves out a couple of years ago, I want them to win because I don't want the Dodgers to win. Well, <laughs> sorry. That's okay. And this is about as. This is about as sports related as I get. <laughs> and you know, you followed baseball. I, not real well. <laughs> I do follow it. You know, so, some would say I'm a fair weather fan, but I have, we have been, me and Heather go to the games at least a couple games every year. And we've been for years, we've gone, you know, you, so you it's like not it when just the Cardinals score a touchdown. We love it when they <laughs> score touchdowns. <laughs> the you know, Cardinals the Cardinals are really good this out. year. One the really really there at the end, you got hot at the right time. <laughs> right time. Well, hey, and if it's there, if they they win this uh, wild card game, it, it you know it's on because that's that's how they won the World Series the last time they won it was wild card. So I think maybe let's talk about something I really know about, not baseball. <laughs> so I had All something right. happen to me that I had something happen to me that was the first time. You guys order all the time, so it's probably have, I was supposed to get my I pre-ordered um, the Batman Cow. The reason I pre-ordered it because it was double VIP. I think it was double VIP. Plus, it was a free gift give uh, the mm -hmm. Adidas shoe or whatever. All that promo. So it was supposed to get here Saturday, and then Saturday, late Saturday night or early Sunday morning. The tracking up, it didn't show up, and the tracking updated to uh, there may be a problem, and it didn't uh -oh. give me. A, that's all it said. There may be oh, a problem. No. So that was Sunday. I checked it Monday. I checked it. I checked it this morning. It says saying nothing ever changed, and it was supposedly in Covington, which is the stop before me. And I get home today, and it's here, and there's nothing oh. wrong with the box. It's not oh, good. Crushed, not damaged, but it just. I've never mm -hmm. seen that before. Yeah, well, you so think it's like it got related? held up in. No, it's like it got held up in customs, but there's no customs. <laughs> he might have missed it. It could have been the delivery driver missed his stop, or oh, it, it, maybe and brought it back, and yeah. it was kind of like 
temporarily but, lost, maybe. Because when you were first saying it, because I did have that happen where they, they did was, damage a box and they returned well, it. I was, and I was so mad because they couldn't restock it because it was sold out. Oh. And I was like, I want the damaged box. Yeah. And I, I was so mad. I called Lego and they would they refused to send me the damaged box. They well, just refunded I was me. Gonna, and I was like, I was, this is ridiculous. Yeah, I was going to ask y'all tonight whether I should call Lego and see if they could see if it was lost and send me another one or but lo and behold it was here when i got home yeah, yeah if you hadn't have got it that i would have told you that i thought it got damaged and they returned it but mm. yeah i'm glad you got it yeah that's good that's good and it's not a smash box and it didn't have anything in it <laughs> <to smash. laughs> all right where we want to start 2019 yes yes okay so for, right. you, for those of you following home, we're a couple weeks behind, and this is the, this is the, what is this, the east side of the of the Elite Eight. Yes. So this will get us to our final four. Yeah, then we're right. determining the best year of Lego sets according to our unknown rules <laughs> that we don't even know. Yeah, and hopefully we haven't changed as we went along. <laughs> <laughs> well... All right, here we go. Corner garage. <laughs> the, see, there they are. There's like several good sets right there on the right off the top. Hey, well, in these newer years, more recent years, a lot of times because they they start with those ten thousand numbers. They, yeah, they do appear at the top. They do. Yeah. Okay, so then it quickly dies off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So we get into the Duplo, uh, the little Woody train. That's cool. And then Mickey Mouse. crazy about these Toy Story sets this time. Yeah, around. that's because they were that's because they were the junior sets and mm -hmm. they they changed the minifigures up. Yeah. Yeah. Creepy buzz. <laughs> creepy buzz, yes. Uh okay, so what are, what are these little Star Wars build your own? I, I can barely see any of that. <laughs> uh let's see, how can I help? this can i help this i can make us disappear i think hey how about that's that? a Does that help better. Better? yeah that's a lot better okay we don't need to see us anyway <laughs> we know what we look like <laughs> uh the architectures yeah there's some good architecture sets Fogger square and empire state building mm -hmm. i just um as popular as minecraft is i've never gotten into the game or the sets mm -mm. Like, i still don't get it <laughs> digital lego eight eight bit eight they bit. should call this it is... they, they should call it atari yeah <laughs> these are some good idea sets and such here yep. yeah no the steamboat Wait, how are there that cool. many in one year they make they release five this, idea sets yeah, in one year this is this is when they started it a few years back Look at all of them they come out with this year. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Oh, fire used to be... <laughs> <laughs> well, These are those the random duck. sets, weren't they? Yeah. The Duplo Duck. You can look, yeah, you can look through the bag and see what they are. Yeah. If anybody would like a Duplo Duck, I have a whole pile of them in my BrickLink store. <laughs> For sale. <laughs> Please, come on up by. <laughs> uh... Popcorn cart. <laughs> oh my goodness. Greg's got like a hundred of those. It, it could rival my tipper truck army. Popcorn yeah. cart army. If you have an extra one, go ahead and send that to Brickitect. <laughs> <laughs> he would appreciate it, I'm sure. <laughs> uh okay. So I mean, other than that first row, I'm not like super excited. Yeah, we got to get, up, we gotta get up to the seventy thousands here. Okay, let me scroll some yeah. more. Shazam! We all got a copy oh, of that yeah. now, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dunkster has one too. Oh yeah. Does he? Yeah, he went and got it too after watching us. <laughs> We're <a> bad influence <laughs> on the whole community <laughs> and each other. What is a Newberry juice? I like bar? watching Dunkster's uh, updates on his, his garage. His yeah, because yeah, it's like they use in UK, they use different terms for things. I'm like, noggin, 
No, I, <laughs> I had to look it up. I'm like, What's it knocking? I thought that was your head. <laughs> but it might be something like we would call like oh, a hit. Is that the hitter. 89 Batmobile? That's a good one. That's one. That's the uh, that's the model. The that, small that was one. the free. That was the free giveaway, yeah. right? Limited edition. Yeah. Yep. See, those were the good giveaways when they. That were... was a good giveaway. Yeah. Yeah, but that that was when you also had to go <laughs> be online like... uh, at the store when it opened, or you didn't get. It. Yep. So that weekend, right. anyway, that first day. Lots of friends. This was a big year for friends, apparently. Yeah. We have lots of friends stuff around here. My wife's, she loves her friend stuff. Excuse me there while I burp. Okay, so five pages. That's just oh page one. Let's see what page Jeez. two brings us. Brickheads. Oh, yeah. These are those ones oh. from Target and Walmart. Yeah. Yep. Uh... Uh, let's see. These are just Technic vehicles. The little, you know? the, the, started off with some little ones, then you got the good ones there. Some good ones. Yeah. Nice oh, one. that Lieber. I want that set. That's one of the Technic sets I haven't bought yet. That I just I probably should have got it when uh, that Zavi had it on sale. Mm. I see Zavi's now listed as one of the retailers on Brick Set. Mm. So you must be getting yeah. a commission or something from that i'd never heard of them before the uh what was it the uh the fiat yes yeah. i hadn't heard of it before then i thought i'd actually had bought from them before i forgot really? what it was uh, yeah huh joe you, you don't have, have a have uh, you don't have a curve and crossroad what is wrong with you it's like the most common piece <laughs> you don't even have it i I, gotta I have like 12 of them i do i do i well what i probably don't have is a set so uh, you know what I mean? Well, actually, if I look through here, these people pack the fun fair. I know I have one of those. Oh, these and... are the re-releases of it too. Yeah, so it's technically a different number than the old one. Of you know, the it... the roads, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, because it's 2019, and you know that's been out longer than 2019. Yes. Yes. Okay, where else are we? I want to see something that's just like yeah. There's nothing that there's nothing exciting yet. I mean, we're the, the first row was pretty the, good. The first row, the Harley Davidson, the corner garage, was it? Yeah, and the uh, the uh, Lunar Lander. The Lunar Lander that was. I, I'm not crazy about these Lego movie sets. Yeah. No, so, I have several of them over there to part out. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Benny Space Squad, though I did like that one, but it, yeah, that was that was a it, really. They made one. so many of them. And was that is that still the only way to get the pink? Yeah, I think uh, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I was gonna say I, I had not remembered any other re-releases. All right, so what do we got here? Minifigs, collectible. Be like three pages of minifigures. Yeah. Now. yeah. <laughs> the Disney ones. I mean, these things are all good. I like these, but I, I mean, there's nothing that's just really grabbing me no nope. okay no nope. oh, the disney, disney train, train. Uh, that was good yeah. it's a good one man it is so out of scale eight wide which is great but it's that train should be small you know yeah. it's not a full-size train especially because it's amusement park right exactly so absolutely hmm. okay so page three it's gotta be something it's gotta be something right 2019. It got here for Star some Wars, reason. Star Wars. I think it was that first row. It probably was a, who it was going against. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. There's Kylo Ren shuttle. I've I have parted out several of those. <laughs> <laughs> See the upside down. I have one of those. I don't know why I don't have that checked. I, it's time for me to do an inventory. Yeah. Got to do an inventory. You pass the Yoda, and here comes the speed champion. Oh. I like I like these speed champions. And I like this dirt. Jurassic Park game. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, I bought one of those, but I don't have it. <laughs> oh, no. Dakota has it. Oh. Uh, yeah, that, huh. Dakota's mom has it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm so sorry, I interrupted bad. somebody. No, this is harder than I thought it would be. Well, nothing here is really. Oh, uh, see now that Spider-Man yeah, crawler thing. I don't. <laughs> come yeah. on, I'm a big Spider-Man it, fan, but that it, thing. Tony Stark ruined Spider-Man. Didn't need all these these vehicles. Yep. Agreed. Venom doesn't need a mech. <laughs> no. There's another Batmobile. This was the year of Batmobiles. Yeah. Uh, well, this year is the year of the tumblers. Yeah. Yep. Look, there's another there's Batmobile. A good Batmobile. Yeah. Eighty nine yeah. Batman. With the turquoise brick separator. So. This thing what here. Happened? What is this thing here? Where? That is Captain. Mar oh, that's the uh, one of the uh, San Diego Comic Con things. I think DC. That they didn't have. Or something. I, it's yeah. It's one of those limited edition. Ah, uh, yeah. okay. Oh, hey, like, here's the like fish. The, all three of those: Captain Marvel and the Sith tr Trooper bus. Those were all Comic Con things. Okay. Huh. Yeah. And I won't have one then. I didn't get um, all four of the fish. I only you didn't get all four. four. Yeah. You just got what the koi. Yeah. You know the sad thing about that is no, no. I I got the shark skin. Oh, the shark skin. Okay. There was the, uh, the, which one did it come with? There's four. I thought that, I don't even remember. It's such a depressing thing. <laughs> it, it's, they they made that to like so-called bring in new people. And the only people that probably bought it were. <laughs> uh, people like <laughs> us, yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we're getting ready to run into all right, this. We can stuff. skip all these yeah. magazine things. Okay, so yeah. what is 2019 going up against? Is going up 1986. 1986. Oh, here we go. Are we ready? Oh, uh, I'm done. First row. 86. First row is it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fire truck, man. <laughs> well, come on, a box of of rare two by four red bricks. <laughs> Look at all these parts boxes. <laughs> okay. Something Don't worry. I wonder if Lego yeah. ever wishes they still sold parts like that instead of the pick a brick online or the uh, bricks and pieces because <laughs> they have to or, actually have people pick those orders. Right. I mean, they could control their whole inventory system and their if they would. Yes, if they did the packaging and uh, I would say they're so automated though that yeah. that many little packages would probably be as big a problem for them is just hand picking them yeah you're right i mean well you know don't give in that easy i don't know <laughs> right, well it, Lego <laughs> land, they, they'll sell you like random bags of parts right i, I wonder if they've ever thought of doing that online yeah, that would be cool yeah so the unknown space <laughs> set yeah There's nobody could nobody could come up with a name for it yeah Actually, that one is that the was, one that was never released. Yeah, I think that's one of the not released ones. Yeah. So this is, is that, one that oh, somebody wait, had a picture that of. It was photographed in the vault. This that was photographed in the vault. That's what it says. It looked like a mock-up box. Huh. Huh. <laughs> okay. I'm sure somebody's reverse engineered it. Yeah, I don't think that would be terribly hard to do i mean if i can do a wrestling ring <laughs> breakdown assistance yep that's a good one we got fabulan looks like a lot of space sprinkled in the a lot of pictures they need for duplo yeah i actually put a duplo train set oh, here, pushed along train here set. comes some castle there right, we go. here's one of the all-time best Castle sets, the armor shop. No, guarded in. The guarded in, yeah. <laughs> now that yeah, was that. I, that's probably why you have it marked on your want list because we talked about it last. <laughs> no, probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's one of the most sought after ones, right there. Was, okay, was this one that was a special? It wasn't. It didn't have as wide a release as the others around it. There. So scanning all these. Um, Brick Mania or uh, Mania Magazine and then the Brick Kicks, it seems like I saw I saw a couple ads for 
I don't remember which one it was, but there was, there was, you know, there were some of the space ads in there. I thought it was one of these castle sets and it was like, the only way you could get it is if you order through the mania yeah. magazine. Yeah. So, you know, I was a castle completist beginning in the late eighties. Yeah. Trying to get all the castle set. And the only thing I had to reference it by was the mag, the catalogs. And right. then I discovered this one later and I'm like, oh. Uh, when the internet came around, but I, but but I was able to get it relatively cheap back then, and now it's like it's still worth a lot now. Yeah. Well, phone booth. Kids don't know what that is anymore. Phone booth. The phone booth. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Kids don't even know what a phone is. Now, I Good. love all Good. these small classic these little, faces. Yeah. yeah. And then here come here comes the trains. Here come the trains. See how many they got. Just these three. Now these. Yeah. I think these were actually sold here in the U.S. Were they? I think. Even though they had, or maybe I'm thinking of the later years. Maybe they weren't, because it's got the 12 volt rail in it. So maybe it wasn't. There were some of these that. There was something weird about. Uh. There was something weird about the trains, the nine volt and the twelve volt in the United States because of the classification of toy. Oh, and if there was a transformer that was you know plugged into the mains, the one ten, there was something that I don't know who, whatever governing body, I guess the United States government. There was somehow that they had to classify. You know, I guess like Lionel are not considered toys. Mm -hmm. There's I, there's I my technic there's my technic go kart. Yep, that is a that is. I remember that from you know when I was a kid. That you know, it's like one of those things. It's like, oh, I want that. That's such a great looking set. Yeah, but, I had that one, and I had the I had the the other, yeah, the other Technic set that was. It came with the remote, so you could you could uh, make it like a little remote control. You could right. power that piston. Yeah, I Did never you? had any Technic when I was a kid. I had I like three or four. I had three or four sets, and that was that was my favorite set. My, yeah. Well, I'm going. This this is still my childhood. This is my my memories. A lot of these sets are. I'm going 86. 2019 is. Uh, I'm going to get booed. I'm sure, but you know, this is nostalgia for me. This is this this is what I grew up playing with, building with. So, I'm right. going 86 for you, bricks are. Right. Uh, okay, eighty six or the corner garage <laughs> and the Apollo lander. Man, I you know eighty six. Oh, I was a year before I graduated, and there's a lot of these sets that you know I can remember wanting, mm -hmm. but I didn't have I didn't have a lot of these because you know by then I was. Last year, high school, so I was probably more interested in girls than toys. Whoa, whoa, whoa hold, hold <laughs> on a minute. Back up, back up. Technic Control Center 2? I don't remember this one for some reason. Oh, it's a Datka. That's why I don't remember it. Yeah, it's probably the same oh. thing, just repackaged, isn't it? No, no it's, it's TC2, different. It's yeah. Different. It's different. This is that one that there was like a modular? TC2. The... It, it probably worked with an Apple computer. <laughs> put, it, put it on the want list yeah put it on the want list <laughs> is this part of it that is a terrible the interface bitter. yeah uh, i can't read it because of the language it's in but it's blurred <laughs> a lot of those from the 80s worked with apple too or something uh, okay so i feel as if Brigzar is wanting me to just... Oh, do you want me to go? Or I, was gonna I don't See if you're going to let me have a say in this. Or... <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you, you pick one of these, there's got to be a reason why you pick it over the other. Right. Because there's some... There's not a ton of sets that, that stand out like... like for 2019, but there are some good sets. And there's a, right. obviously when we get in these vintage years, there's less sets, but then there's some but, classics and nostalgia. I, and and look, I know we're talking about years apart, but look at all the small sets from '86 
versus all I mean, I love big all the sets stats. from yeah. 19. I think the, the early years of Lego were more family friendly. <laughs> mm. I feel yeah. bad. I feel bad for kids. I've, I've actually been in target when a parent or a grandparent was with their kid and they're making them put sets back and they end up getting the small one. But there's so many great mm-hmm. options. And, you know, I was that kid, you know, I had to get the small sets, but it, there were so many of them and there weren't all these great big sets to, to make you feel bad that you couldn't get it. But uh, the black Falcons fortress, right. One of my favorite sets. So, um, in the Guarded Inn, uh, all-time classic castle set. Probably one of the most wanted castle sets. Uh, the Merry-Go-Round in Fabuland. Pretty awesome. Not really, but... Uh, <laughs> so you're calling it... You I'm going to go with 86. All right, there it is. I think it's a good... Yeah. It's a worthy year. I have a hard time picking between 86 and 19. Yeah, you know that's a that's a good point. You go down the Lego aisle now, and you know even a small set is the smallest that you can get is ten bucks. Most of the sets right. are are twenty or thirty dollars. And mm-hmm. I mean, when we when I was a kid, most of the sets were five and six dollars, and they were in the you know they would what today would be fifteen dollars sets. Right. And a yeah, big set back just, then was. That you know, big Falcon set. Would... Would... No, I'm sorry, Earl. Go, go ahead. No, go, go ahead. ahead. No, you so go a ahead. Big set, a big set back then would have been four or five, six hundred pieces. That would have been like, I mean, how many pieces? The when I was the biggest sets on the shelf were the, the King's Castle and the yeah. Exxon Station. Yeah. How many pieces were in those sets? I don't About think six hundred. Six hundred, maybe. Yeah, and those, you know, those were like, what were they? Fifty, sixty dollar sets. And that's the yeah. biggest thing on this. Now, look, that's like, right. That's like yeah. those are the middle small of the sets. road the high, nowadays. I think yeah. for years, the highest piece count set was the USS Constellation from the 70s. It may have been higher than a lot of things that were made in the 80s. And it wasn't extremely large. I mean, it was a big model, but yeah, they didn't make these $200, what would be a $200 set today. They didn't make anything like that in the I, 80s. I can remember, and I, I guess we could look it up, but I can remember the what was it, the Galaxy Explorer? That was like, one, other than like the castles, that was like the biggest space set too. And it was, I remember it being more two than base I plates, <laughs> right? No, exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, I I had so many of the little the little space sets, the like you said, mm-hmm. the five dollar type. You know, well, think about this too. Like my big sets that I had. You could build them in minutes. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. all my buildings, it, it take you like you could build it in like five or ten minutes. Well, I right. Well, I had you know, I my, all of my stuff went into a drawstring bag. You know, the <laughs> denim drawstring bag, right? So you when you got it back out, you were building everything, and I could you know you. What? I'm I'm building yeah, this you- in Jago City, and I've been working on it for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've told you the story. The the reason I got the King's Castle because it was the the it was the set on the. My mom said I could get any set I wanted because uh, she had got her taxes, you know, and her tax uh, refund, and I could get any set I wanted. And it was out of it, that was the set that had the most pieces on the shelf. It was the biggest <laughs> there set on the you shelf. go. <laughs> and that's that a good call. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, two thousand two or two thousand eighteen. 2018 uh, is right start. up against. Let's start with a smaller year this time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 2002. 2002. I already have it loaded. Here we go. Oh, oh Audi I know Audi why this one. Audi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Audi TT and then all the studios. Yeah. Well, I think this we know what Joey. this one is. Yeah. This, this is Joey's mine. year right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was watching a brick tech video today and he was trying to find stuff for $15 on eBay. And it was all these pins. I think there were all pins. these, it was pins like these. Yeah. <laughs> um, they were the, well, the ones that were in the square boxes, right? Rectangular. Box. Wow. Intellitrain. Those things were expensive. 
that, and they don't work. They break they so easy. Well, they they worked if you got a new one, but huh? the they break so easy. Oh, they break. So I, I never I wanted to get these back in that that time, but they never went on clearance, and they were just yeah, they were out of my price range. So here here's what I found the okay the new Duplo trains are you push them to get them started yeah and or you just stop them so you know we're talking about dakota's age kids, you can right manhandle it or child handle it and it's gonna yeah and it's, it's designed to break it yeah that's that's the design <laughs> this has a little bitty plastic gear in there that mm -hmm. either strips off the metal axle or breaks because what did the kids do they stopped it you know, just by pushing down on it. Or, well, you on these Intella trains, you had to push a button or had to run over one of the red stops or something to get it to stop. Well, and little you know kids just they, tore them up. And these, I'm sure these Intella trains probably also, like, once they started going, they probably timed out real quick, like some of the others from this era did. Right. And it's like that probably frustrated the kid and they just like push it. <laughs> e, e, and yeah. And that's it. Yeah. That's another thing that when you pushed it, it, was pushing against the motor and yep so mm, here's the uh music composer one of the worst ideas lego ever came up with mm -hmm. this is when they want to be mattel and not lego <laughs> uh some soccer stuff pretty cool soccer set with you know i'm not a soccer fan but they did really good with a lot of different they sets. did and some of the promotional things are actually pretty cool Yep. Oh, there's the ride on truck. That's oh, yeah. uh, Rick Buster. Uh, yeah, where's Joey? <laughs> Got like four of four or five of them. How many does he have? I don't know, but he's yeah, he's cornered the market on that. <laughs> there's the uh, the see, I missed this when we were doing this before, I think, but the uh, beach house up there, the, the uh, translucent. Oh. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And oh, you, we, no, we no, did talk about it. We did talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you went and bought one. Yeah. <laughs> While we were talking about it, you were buying. Yeah. One. <laughs> <laughs> this haul is brought to you by the A Fool Podcast. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself. I haven't bought anything during the filming of this video today. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's got to be a rarity. There's a blacksmith house. I'm sure we talked about that. Shop. Yes, There's Gilgamesh. Sure. Wait, oh, Giga Gilgamesh. <laughs> Where's all the Smurfs? Oh. Uh, Sandy. We talked about her, too. So There's mm -hmm. something about her, right? Sandy Moondust. And Biff Starling. And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Biff Starling. I got yeah. one of these. I got that torso. I'm not sure which one it is. World Space Congress. Okay, that's what it was. Yeah. Uh, Yoda keychain. That's a, that's got to be a winner. Here we go, Gal Galador. Hmm. Galador. Poor two thousand two. <laughs> it has to have something else in it, though. We we got to be coming to something. Something got us here, right? Well, there's going to be some trains. Yeah. Well, I don't again, know how good they're going to be. The studios and the soccer. Oh, yeah, but sets. Look at all these. Well, th it might have. It went over to. It beat seventy six, and the year be and before that, it beat two thousand fourteen. So, to beat mm. two thousand fourteen, it had to have something. Something. Yeah. I think it's secret set A and B. That's what. Oh, I mean. there they are. The trains. <laughs> Lego Train. Express. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what did it. You know the thing that that blue. <laughs> The blue one, for some reason, for a long time, would sell for more than the other ones. It's only got the. They're basically the, the same blue. set, but, but the, the one blue with one the, is only in that. You yeah. couldn't buy the blue one separate. So this one would be more expensive than this one that has the green one, which you could buy you know, everything in here. You could buy separately. Mm -hmm. Right, and it has so more that, cars. <laughs> it has hmm. more pieces and more mm -hmm. units, but. That's, that is crazy. <laughs> I remember those being on clearance. Yeah, I wish I, I actually did. Remember those. I actually remember those being on clearance, but I was didn't know any better. Nope. Let's see. 2002. Uh, uh, Jack Stone. 
Mm. I'm I'm scared. Uh, I'm not scared. I am. Um, Page two. <laughs> I got. Is I'm that, way too close to being Potter? Dexed on complete. So I'm. Just, oh no. Oh no. So, so you do not want to tell everybody what you're missing, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at that soft yeah. stacking hand. <laughs> That's. It's mm. got to be getting close. Wait a minute. To the Shape and here. color is what is that green thing? Which one? The shape and color sort of. Oh, shape and. What is that green thing? That is a circle. A circle, yeah. You gotta... Oh, that's got to be a frog, and that's oh. got to be a mouse. Okay. And I bet you a that's duck. a chicken. Oh, I hope it's not a duck. Could be. It's a chicken. It's uh -oh. a chicken. Okay, good. No, it's a duck. It's a duck. It's, <laughs> it's a duck. A duck. <laughs> oh, no, no. Look, look, look. Let's see what it says. <laughs> frog, mouse, and chicken. Okay. Whew. Somebody tagged it as a chicken. <laughs> it's a chick. You lucked out. Yeah. You lucked out. I don't know about this uh, Primo airplane. Maybe I need to get that. <laughs> that is kind of a cool looking airplane, though. I, don't, I just don't recall seeing it before. <laughs> oh. You know, if you wanted to try to go get it, I bet you'd be hard. Uh oh. I'm oh, I bet you couldn't oh, do it. Oh, oh, oh no. I'm about to. I'm about to search here. <laughs> Did you need the number? You scroll back up. <laughs> I'll find it. Fifty-four twenty-nine. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Nobody's talking, so oh, good. oh I'm sorry. Oh, hey, look at no, no, no. It's, 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 here's your skateboarding pepper. I can buy that. Your thirty-five dollars. Oh hey, yeah, is pepper. That, is it? Is your skateboard is, on brick set? That's a good question. I had, I didn't look to see if it was. I what? bet it's not. Send me a picture. And it can be. <laughs> <laughs> does it have a? Does I got the sealed one, number? so does it have I a Lego the... number on it anywhere? Um, or a set number, a part number? I don't know. I don't know. It's. I mean, it's it's wrapped in like some kind of wrap. <laughs> I'll have to do some <laughs> research to find out what the where you could get it. Right. So I think it was some kind of special promotion. I don't think it was sold in stores like that. So here was another one, the the Fort Lego. These are the re-releases, obviously, mm -hmm. but Rapid River Village, Sheriff Lockup, Fort Legorado. Those were all well, good. Well, I gotta I gotta tell you, 2018 is gonna have to be really bad. You think so? I, yeah, because be. this is. I mean, these aren't even the good Star Wars sets. I mean, Yoda. Oh, no, there's the, there's the, the UCS. Ship, but yeah. Oh. Hey, Belleville Pink Watch. Come on now. Oh. The creator clock. It's a Jack, it's Jack Stone set, basically. Yeah. It is, yeah. I wonder how many Bionicle fans have the Bionicle clock. Only a real true Bionicle fan would know that that it exists, right? You're just a pretender if you don't have the Bionicle. Yeah. <laughs> Brickzar has once again thrown down the Bionicle. <laughs> you got to have a clock if you're going to be a real Bionicle yeah. fan. <laughs> Oh, oh now we really get into the Galador, the yep. real Galador. Now, which one of these is the really hard one to get? Um, the the t um the Kick Power Riser is hard, and easy for you. The uh, Tager and Aquart. Tager. Okay, Tager, and then Aquart. Yeah. You said the Power Riser. The, yeah, it was. Uh, it's the you got kick and then you got kick power riser. That one came in a weird box. Ah, okay. It's a bigger, bigger set. So, oh, there it is. I got it. Okay, I see it now. I see it now. Okay. More racing. Hey, this is sad, man. I'm sorry, Bionicle <laughs> fans. As I just scroll by him really quickly. Around the house. <laughs> Look at life on the farm. Now, all you kids in school, man, y'all were getting the cool Lego sets that you didn't get to take home. <laughs> uh, 
Uh-oh. Super Chief. Super Chief. Uh-oh. Uh, Star Destroyer. Man, man this is right, way down there. Uh, so all the good stuff's down here. These are re-releases. Yeah. Is that the re-release of Pizza to Go? Yeah, these are all re-releases. Yeah, these are all. But I brought back still. Black So how could the Black Falcon's Fortress? We can't have the Black Falcon's Fortress going against the Black Falcon's Fortress. <laughs> Hmm. There's a re-release of the Black Seas Barracuda also. Mm -hmm. Who arch would have to get the Arch Power uh, the, Ar the Arch Bulk Bricks pack? <laughs> In light gray. Those do not look like small windows. Where <laughs> the one by two bricks. I guess those are clear bricks. Oh, oh, oh. 10, 1051. Yep. <laughs> you got 50 of them. 50. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now we're into the parts packs. Yeah, Let's look at page three just for fun. All right. Just for. Oh, More my man action pack. Yeah. That's what came out instead of the wrestling scene. That had all right. like part of the pieces for the wrestling scene. In it. So this is what I'm talking about down here. This guy, he's like checking. I got, I got the Allen extreme stunts, Allen extreme yeah. stunts, Allen extreme stunts. I got right. both versions of Galador game. <laughs> <laughs> I actually would like to get these sealed. These, the Galador games, the Galador games. Yeah. Did they, Oh, that's a PC CD ROM game. Yeah. Wow. Do you even they have a computer with a CD-ROM? <laughs> I don't. I don't. Uh, we we have a... I don't know if it'll play a game this... Well, it might, 2002. Because we, we we can connect a CD-ROM to the computer. It's not built into the computer. You, we just connect the cable to inside the on the motherboard. Right. And it works. He he's Jacob's played some of the LEGO Island games on this computer. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Now, there's the blue passenger way. This blue was a pass car, but it would have been in a bin at the Lego store or one of the um, Discovery Center. Right, something. because that number, that 4188, 4186876, six, that's actually the number for like when it was in the set. Yeah. So I think these only got separated like this, like you said, when they were clearancing them mm -hmm. heavily. So I, I do remember. I never went. We had a a Lego store that was like a, re, uh, a outlet mall type thing where you have all the discount stores. I mm -hmm. never went to it, and they had those. But I do remember them being at our, the actual Lego store uh, in uh, like uh, those bins where they just throw in a bunch of stuff. Right, right, right. And, yeah. and I remember they had all the uh, the packs for the build the different. Uh, colors of the local. Hey, I, I'm losing you guys. Oh no! Oh no! We got to decide that's here. Okay. Oh, no. All right. Look at me. It's enough. <laughs> His phone's overheating. Probably is. You're probably absolutely right. All right. I, I've seen enough. Can you hear me now? He 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 left the building. No, you're supposed to just stop your camera. I did. <laughs> no, not you, Joey. <laughs> he left. <laughs> I'm not letting him back in. I, wait, where'd he go? It's just you and me now, Earl. Okay. There, there I am. <laughs> he just left. Hey, be careful when you turn off the host's camera. <laughs> okay, so can we let's just do 2002, 2018 before we lose Earl again? All right. Wait, now, what do you now I can't hear you all of a sudden. Oh, you, so you can't turn your camera off? Yeah, well, let me see. Let me try different. Just now. There you go. There you go. How's that? How's that? How's that? All right. There we go. There we go. There we we just go. got hands. Yes, on. there we go. Okay. <laughs> so we kind of looked at 2018 and 2018. We'll one row of 2018. Yeah. It's the, um, let me scroll back to the top and I will describe this roller coaster. The downtown oh. diner, the roller coaster. Oh, there you go. James Which Bond. I think, so it's, I think it's finally going to retire, guys. Oh, wow. The roller coaster? Uh, only three yeah. years. Huh? Well, I hope that means that another one is coming next year. Mm -hmm. I hope yeah, that's what that good. means. 
So, so yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Yeah, you go ahead. So I'm I'm scrolling through real fast to see if there's any more highlights. Uh, because I'm gonna have to lean towards the my own train stuff. In the Santa Fe. Oh yeah. Yo, know, yeah. That's that's obviously what got it there. Right, and I, you know, 2018. There's a lot of stuff, lots of friends. Again, I'm just kind of scrolling through. I know I'm going to miss something. Brickheads, lots of brickheads. Oh wow. Well, somewhere in the middle is going to be the rest of the good stuff. Though. Yeah, that's what I'm. I'm rolling. I'm trying to find something that's just going to stick out. Um. So on the train front, there was a passenger train and a cargo train. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> huh. uh, those Spinzitsu things. So more Ninjago. Yeah. It's a lot of reiteration stuff. Ninjago yeah. City Docks is in there. That's a biggie. Um, okay, more DC minifigs. So... Yeah, I don't, I'm. I'm really not seeing a whole lot I mean, in eighteen. I have recency, re, recent years. I'm biased against them, right? <laughs> Even though they have so many more sets, and there are good sets. Like, I mean, the roller coaster. When I think about it, you know, I'll, how many videos did I do? Like, when's Red Lego going to make a roller coaster? Right. And then they made one. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't bad. It wasn't what I wanted, really, though, when I think about it. But it, it was a roller coaster, and they made it. Um, but, man, why? you know what they, we want them to make? Trains. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. And they made some good ones in 2002. They did. And that's my vote, 2002. Anybody else going to vote? I'll, I'll go ahead. So before I get canceled out again, I'll say 2002. <laughs> okay, 2002. 2002 is the winner. Right. 2002 is the winner. All right, so we got rid of these. Um, Ooh, you know, so not, we got everything like 20 years old now. Again, so the so. final four is, is in, on one side, we got 2008 versus 1980. Yep. And on the other side, we've got 1986 versus 2002. I, right. I I know who my uh my dark horse going into the final fours is just out of those four. So I'm not gonna say. <laughs> so what's the oldest year? So we got 80, 86, 2008, 2002. Yes, yes. that's okay. the final four. Wow. That was uh, I did not see that coming. Well, you know, some of the like you said, some of the current years is all about quantity and availability of course there's some of the set they're going to look a lot better because because of you know technology able to make pieces that they couldn't make back then able to do things I, yeah i think it goes without saying that a set from this year is going to be more realistic better looking parts uh than anything from you know the 1980s or whatever but I, I also, there's the nostalgia part of it. Plus, they made things that really look good. As, you know, I, I, I say good, but with a lot less than. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. they, you yeah. had to work harder at it to make it yeah. look good. Yeah. Now it's, you know. I, yeah. There, there's, it's not just nostalgia, but it, yeah, it is using a limited number of pieces. And you still, I can tell that is a truck. Or a car, right? Or a, a house. Uh, it's like today. There's so much, and it's like when I look at city sets, I don't look at them anymore. Right. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if that's because of my age, but I've totally gotten disinterested in anything that makes this for city thing. Well, you know what it is for me that it's the complete tiling of everything. Oh yeah. If you have to look at a at a speed champion set from a distance. If I, you know, if it was just over on a coffee table and there was a, an AMC model or something next to it and an, and this, you know, a really nice speed champion. And I have to study for a second with, you know, without picking it up and looking at like, which one's the Lego one. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? They just, yeah. they just, they've made everything. And it, 
I'm not, I'm not against it. But when I look at a, a, an old mini wheels ambulance and it's got all the studs on top, I'm like, oh yeah, that looks like a great Lego. I just have that ah moment. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I mean the, the the tile thing does have an appeal to people. It does. But then, uh, and I have nothing against it. I right? agree I mean, with you. But yeah. Uh, you know, I the the Santa Fe Super Chief is one of them that they they tiled. They didn't they tie tiled, all of it though. They didn't tie all of it, but it was kind of like the start where they, you know, they yeah. part of partly, you know, it's not, it's not all studs, but yeah. You, yeah. when you look at it, you look at oh, that's a, it's a Lego train, yeah. you know, and I don't know, I like I like seeing the studs, I like seeing the studs, so I think that's a big thing for me. What about you, Earl? I uh, I don't know. I like stud. It it depends. It, I guess it depends. Like if it's a building, I like tile floor, and I don't like seeing the studs on that. But on on vehicles, I don't know. I like the smooth sleekness, but I guess stud all studs versus some studs. I don't mind some studs. Right. It, it's definitely a uh, it's definitely a look, right? Yeah. It, it also drives me crazy, and I and don't don't get but me wrong, I've again, done it. Like sidewalks. It, yeah. <laughs> in cities i just like they're all tiled and i've tiled all of my sidewalks so i know i'm being a hypocrite but it's i don't know i look well, at this I mean, if you look at the cars it's kind of like if you look at the old cars they, they didn't tile anything except maybe nope. a hood you know right and i think it's just with the age yeah there's plenty of people who are, are the younger people people younger than me who will absolutely disagree with me and think that I'm just crazy because I like the stud look, but, you know, well, I will have to say this is the weirdest thing. Cause when I look at my screen, I don't see us. <laughs> well, it, I feel like this is a podcast. Yes. A what? A podcast, an audio <laughs> podcast. So, How dare so, us. so let me ask you, Joe, you said something earlier about the, uh, I already forgot what said it. Oh, the Jurassic Park set. So if you're in a, if you're looking at something and you see something comes out and you're like I'm going to get that for Dakota, he's going to really mm -hmm. like that. Do you say, uh oh, I got to buy two so Dakota <laughs> doesn't get mine? <laughs> uh, there's there are things, yeah. There's no way I we did not buy two of those Jurassic Parks. That right, was expensive right, bet. right, yeah, right. So <laughs> I had bought. I don't remember what it was. It's the joke. The it's the set that had the uh, Batman disco in it. The Joker Manor, Joker Manor. Yeah, uh -huh. somewhere along the line, I bought one of those, and it's been in the utility room in the <laughs> sub storage area, where you know I got. I parted it out the other day because it's one of those things that I I don't know. It didn't interest me, and it, I don't think it's going to interest Dakota. It, it, maybe I didn't, but you know, I parted that thing out. It had a hundred dollar minifigure. It had. Hundred dollar minifig and a sixty dollar minifig. In it. Wow! I already sold the sixty dollar minifig. <laughs> wow! I didn't, Do you have no that clue. one, what? You bought you bought that one, didn't Joker you? Manor. Yeah, I just bought one. It, it, okay, Did it's, you ever it's, build a, it? it's a it's a uh, they might be bricks barometer of interest in a set. It's like when you you're talking about this, I'm thinking about the sets that he has in his room on display. Mm -hmm. That's right. the ones I got to make sure I have extras of. <laughs> <laughs> but the sets that he starts building and doesn't finish that oh. often tells me a lot and the joker manor is one of them he started building it and he lost interest in it and it's like we like roller coasters i'm like i'm like why are you not going to finish building this so it's like it's in the graveyard pile with the helicarrier the avengers helicarrier he never finished building that one and the uh that big um mining set so do you have like in a tub or do you have what he's built in the box with i think i ended up taking the um helicarrier and getting it where it would fit back in the box or something and so, then the joker manor is it i think it's in two different places now so i don't know where <laughs> all the pieces are <laughs> so do you think that it's because i would have the same problem like especially the building the helicarrier do you think it's the one of these uh, a, a, an attention span thing because you know I, I'm going to build a set and I'm going to want the gratification that I want you know I want to be able to build it and then I want to play with it yeah it, the, it, that those sets are going to take a while to build 
Yeah, well, and he's he's built all of our U. U, U I almost said USC. U, UCS. Said. <laughs> if he likes the set, like he built the Batwing, he built the Super Star Destroyer, not the the the, um, the one that's Vader's ship. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He built that. Um, he built the, the the one that I thoroughly think I would have hated building the uh, Stranger Things set. Oh yeah. Uh, Man, built, that set stinks. Yeah, oh, I built a, that, and I'm gonna it, tell you what, it's a booger. <laughs> and in um, a game of bricks sent me a lighting kit for it, and I've uh, after that I've discovered that um, I never want to buy another lighting kit in my life. Ooh, yeah, I bought the lighting kit for the Disney Castle, which was quite expensive to buy that kit, and mm -hmm. I have yet to put it in. Heather yeah. gets on to me every once in a while, but the put yeah, if you're I, ooh. lighting, well. li the lights look good, it shows and stuff, yes. but I would not do a set you if you're going to light something you need to do your mock where you can build the wiring into it mm -hmm. uh, i i it looked cool but oh man it's, and it's you gonna, almost need to build the set with the lighting kit at the same time and even even then you know you're gonna those wires are going to be going between yep. studs or between brick plates and stuff and it's just a pain mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um so that yeah that's one thing i learned but yeah he's built uh, a ton of the big sets but I've there's some of them he's pestered me about to build, but I said I want to build that one. Yeah. <laughs> and it, but yeah, the Joker's Manor didn't finish it. <laughs> so there must have been something. I have to ask him. We get him on here. Like, why did you not finish building that? <laughs> uh, yeah. His answer is his answer is going to be I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Well. Do we want to? Well, it's probably going to be kind of hard to do comments here. I would think. Um, yeah, because I still can't. I well, you know what? I might be able to access them. Let's see. Since we are, since we're doing what we're doing without the video. Yeah, I think I am going to be able to get them. Let's see if it'll load. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's see if it doesn't cut my volume off when I go to your video. Oh no, I'll get ready. Yeah, I'm gonna get ready here. You or me or us. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Hold so on. Uh, coming. I was gonna say something before we get to the comments. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, when we're talking about the smooth versus the studded. Right. And. That's one thing, but the thing I was thinking about is they're making so many big sets now. All right. <laughs> that and there's so much coming out this year that this is the first time I remember since uh, back when I was just starting working that yeah, he cut himself off. Yeah. <laughs> I was but afraid of that. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to afford a lot of stuff that's coming out that I want to get. That, you know, <sighs> Yeah, because I want the Titanic. <laughs> I, I want the cat. Yeah, I knew that would happen. <laughs> yeah, it's, that uh, work. okay. Yeah, um, we'll we'll save the comments. We'll save them. No, there's we'll, we'll do a com. We'll do a, a episode responding to comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we may have to just yeah just yeah. No, you're right. There with with the amount, and it seems like I really kind of started getting into this collecting collecting one to have to have and to build which is don't do that that is a terrible no. waste of time and money because well, the thing the thing you're doing is you want to open it and build it but then again you're as a collector you want to have one sealed that's exactly exactly right and exactly. what happens because i is know I that when i build it it melts into my display or my city or whatever <laughs> and it's like no i don't have that one anymore and it's like no i want it and it's like ugh. It, yeah you know, it's like a, a, a pieces disappear yes even if you don't take it apart to put into a mock or something it's like if you got a cat or a child yeah, <laughs> yeah. um but what? i can't these uh sets that are like a lot of them are just display pieces mm -hmm. and, and, this, and display space is a premium yeah and, it, and i'm thinking i got two sets i want to get that are coming out later this year or one's already out actually the, cat, the caterpillar is 450 dollars 
The Titanic, right. 650, 30. That's, that's almost $1,100. It'll be over $1,100 just for two sets. Mm -hmm. and, then, I, and, then, and I'm like, that's just so much money. <laughs> well, and then here's the other thing, too, that, that's kind of in the last year or so, it's kind of hit me. It, I started, okay, I'm, I'm over 50 now. And I, I'm, I'm looking at retirement, right? It's, yeah, it's yeah. less than 10 years away or right at 10 years away. So mm -hmm. now it's like the disposable income that I'm like, I, I, okay, I have, I'm ready. I can buy that Lego set. That's fine. We'll go, we'll go to Walmart or go to the Lego store or whatever. You drop a couple hundred dollars or $1,500 for the, you know, the ones you're wanting. Now I'm kind of like, yeah, but I might want to eat when I'm 70. <laughs> yeah. Well, you and then you know, then that starts stuff starts playing in your head. So I get picky yeah, but, now. See, I think about it the other I don't think about it like that because when you're 70, you can sell that set. No, you're and right. You can eat and then you if can I eat. had two of them, one still sealed. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, that see. was the other thing with the Joker Manor. I it had set on a shelf and got a little bit of shelf wear. Worse than shelf wear, it got box squat, right? Where it had set yeah. for so long. So now the box is not that nice, perfect square. It was kind of squatty. And so I looked it up and it was, you know, the part out on it was seven or $800. And the set was only going for like four or five, maybe six. I don't remember. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Yeah. The old Jumbo yeah. rule. Yeah. The old yeah. Yeah. Rule. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Even old sets sometimes. It, yeah. The Marish trains like that still. It's still worth a whole lot more parted out than it is sealed. Right. But, but um, oh, I forgot what I was going to tell y'all. Oh, I got 2,668 days till retirement. <laughs> well, you've got I got it. I got on my phone. <laughs> oh, okay. I was wondering how you do that. Sometimes you'll just throw that number out there. Yeah. You, you put the date in and it tells you how many days until. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, it, I've got that count. My uh, my deal is it's just hard to pull the trigger on a set that's that's two hundred dollars, much less three hundred fifty dollars. Right. I think the first set that I bought that was over two hundred dollars was that town um, plan set, the kind of throwback. Oh set. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that I think that was the first time I ever spent over two hundred dollars on set. That set was more than two hundred dollars. They didn't yeah. retail for that, huh? I think so. I think it was like two forty. Oh. Yeah, I think it was a pretty expensive one. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. So it is now. It's just like every other week they got another two hundred plus. Yeah, dollars that's, that's what's crazy. You can't keep up. You no. no. Talk about. You know, you want to collect this, and you want to collect that, and you want to be like Joe and say, okay, I'm going to collect this thing and collect it all. And then a $300 set comes out. And before you even get that, a $250 set comes out. Yeah. <laughs> right. Funny. Well, it's, it, the only thing it's done, it's kind of helped me weed out themes that I wasn't passionate about that I would still get things like mentioned before city, mm -hmm. not interested mm -hmm. in it anymore. Friends. Right. Not, uh, even though there's a lot of good things with the friends theme, I, I just like, I just, even sometimes when it's on clearance, I'm like, no. Um, so I'm still trying to collect certain things in Star Wars and uh, all the Jurassic World stuff. But it's like, even that now I got to think, oh, okay, maybe there, I'm going to have to break it's break somewhere and not get something. <laughs> Well, and I've kind of, I, I still, I still really like the vintage. I still like classic space, still like trains, right? These are, these are the biggies for me. So, you know, with the trains, that means the modular. So I know the yeah. modulars are always going to be on my, on my going to have to buy as soon as possible. Uh, but then there's all these other things that come out that I, yeah. you know, I, I kind of get interested in, you know, some of the smaller, you know, like. I don't know the brickheads. That was one I started, and then it kind of got like Star Wars and DC. It just doesn't seem to want to stop, you know, the <laughs> superheroes and stuff. And so, but you know, I had to kind of break from it. But oh, this, so this, I was talking to my son about the superheroes. Like, I just want the minifigures, right? Yeah, me too. Right? And there's there's a handful of sets that I do want, but mostly it's just the minifigures. 
I I may do like some people do and not worry about keeping them complete. Just buy the sets, part them out, sell the parts, and keep the figs. Yeah, but yeah. you're doing it the wrong way. It's sell the figs and keep the parts. <laughs> you make more money. <laughs> That's the yeah. Story. I know what you're saying though. I, you're right. You want to keep the figs. Yeah. Well, and that's I. I am still I, all the collectible minifigs. You know, I'm still trying to get all those series oh. and keep them. Oh, speaking of that, Joey. Yeah. So I, I, uh, Jabo turned me on to something with the Looney Tunes that worked for Marvel that you need to start doing. Okay. I bought two. I bought two Marvel boxes. And oh yeah. And so you get two two sets of six, and I got all twelve different ones. Did you get? Yeah, wow. you st still a 50 50 shot there, though. Yeah, yeah, because Shy, yeah. I think, got three or four boxes, and they were all the same. Oh, how well, I, I, I think that the trick is to you know buy your two together because if you, yeah, because if you buy if you buy one and you buy another one, then it's a 50 50, and then you buy yeah. a third one. But if you buy two together, I think that's the trick. That's what you did. Yeah. And don't buy three, because if you buy three, you, you're gonna open the second one you open is gonna be wrong. Yeah. <laughs> right. You're guaranteed. If you buy three, you're guaranteed of having at least two, two sets. sets. <laughs> yeah. Two, yeah. Well, a, yeah, a set plus six. <laughs> right. Yeah. But well, you should you, try. You, you should. You should try that, Joey. You really should. I try saw that. him the other day. Yeah. I'm into the. What is the latest one? The Marvel Studios one. Uh -huh. That's what I, I got, did. I, I, yeah, I probably should have done. It. I already got, and eh, what have I got here? Four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight out of the twelve. Mm -hmm. So, well, uh, you know, math is hard. It is, and it's, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's misleading sometimes because I've done the uh, intentionally not fill the packs at all and just buy random packs, right? And you can start off feeling good because you got okay. I bought. There's 16 in this series. I bought 16 packs and I got 11 of them. I'm doing pretty good. But right. sometimes getting those last five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you get about 30 packs to get the last five. I, what I have historically done is, and I did it with this, with this. Well, actually, I did. I didn't quite do it this way. Uh, I usually buy however many there is. Blind bag, go into Target. Just yeah. you buy that many. If it's there's 16 of them or 12 of them, we just buy. Usually, I'm kidding myself. I usually buy about 20 of them, right? <laughs> and then I open them up. And as soon as I have a full set, I stop opening what I have and then I put yeah, the sealed ones away. Right. Or, and this happens more than not, I open them all up and still short two or three. And then I just go brick link those. Yeah. It's like, I, these well, are the ones I want. I'm not going to go buy a bunch more blind bags and then keep doing that. And it's like, then all of a yeah. sudden, those last three cost you whatever because you had to keep buying blind bags, you know? Yeah, and then you end up the the danger is you'll end up getting a bunch of one that you don't really want a bunch right. of right. Well, well, and I just put the so I bought sixteen. That was the most you could buy off of Lego dot com of these Marvel ones. I got what I say eight. Mm -hmm. So the rest of them are in a store, and you know they they're just barely. What are they? Five dollars a piece? Is that what mm -hmm. I paid for? Five, them? Yeah, to read the plus tax. You know, you plus probably... tax. Yep. <laughs> And then, and you, when you look at them on Bricklink, and I don't, I don't, I think I put them in the store for five dollars a piece, so I'm probably getting ready to lose money if I ain't paying attention. But uh, the uh, that's what they're the six month sales average is only at like yeah, yeah. Well, the, the four to six dollars. The problem is they're equal distribution. So when yeah. you get a box, you get yeah, I think three sets in every box. So there's it's no one, one that's there's not a rare one or one that's even a two to one. Right. And that makes them all equal and everybody do, everybody's doing that. So they're not even they're hardly at retail in the Bricklink store. Right. Right. Well, let's see. We're about about an hour and a half here. Should we uh keep going or Hello? Yeah. No. Hello? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sorry. It is it is very odd not seeing you guys. <laughs> it is kind of strange. I wish I had a logo. <laughs> Did you guys figure out how to do that? No. no. I, 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 I'll be honest. I didn't try. <laughs> I didn't either. I did. I was hoping we wouldn't need it. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully. So, so you hopefully. can, if you click on the bottom, you can hit edit your audio avatar. 
Okay. Your three little dots. Well, I don't have three dots. Oh, for your oh, yeah, do you not have? Because we're not logged into um, Streamyard. I think I got a lot. I don't have a Streamyard account. Oh wait, a minute. maybe do I click on my thing? No. So do you not see there. yourself down at the bottom? I guess you don't, do you? No. Mm. Oh, there you go. Click your um. Uh, so. Oh, my name. You, yeah. yeah. Not not you in the screen. You should have a little microphone and like three little dots. I got okay. Hold a minute. Where'd it go? I got mute, start cam, mic, share. What are y'all talking about? No. Okay. Well. Okay. Then you're so, not so so I see Joey's. Uh, I see Joey the three pictures and they're all black. And then underneath, I have our yours might be over to the side. You have a picture of you and it says you're in the show. You, do you have yours maximized? Oh, that's what it is. Okay, hold on. Whoops. The, the one where okay. it says you're in the show. Click that one. Oh, edit audio avatar. Oh, my goodness. I'm learning stuff. <laughs> I don't have any pictures, though. Yeah, no, I don't. Oh, here we go. Here's one. Let's see what this looks like. Let's see. The, what do I got on this computer? And here's the thing. I have all three of your guys' avatars sitting right here, but I can't I can't add them. It won't let me add your avatar. Can you email it to me? I, <laughs> there we, well, yeah, I can. Hey, look, there we go. There. Mardi Gras man. <laughs> let me see. What let me what do you hold what, what do you hold want? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I got one. It's a tipper truck. Yeah. <laughs> oh I, I lost I got too many windows open. So uh why are you trying to figure that out? VIP, double VIP is coming up. Is it next week? Oh, is it? Yeah, I think. I so think I said the eleventh. I think it's next week, and then it's crazy because there's a. I know you don't collect Harry Potter Jabo, but you might, Joey. There's a lot of Harry Potter uh, promos right after double VIP ends. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's like they they didn't. They oh didn't yeah, overlap I with those. Yeah. There, I sent a picture of yourself to you. Okay. You know, <laughs> oh, the there plane. you go. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I used the Primo plane as my avatar. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. So is there anything new that you want to get, Joey? Uh, let's see. Out of the, what was the new stuff? Um, I My Ford Raptor finally showed up. I'm trying to look at it. That's why I'm kind of oh. i mean nothing that i'm kind of yeah. wishing i put bought the pickup truck that you got jabo I, uh -huh. I may still go back and get that one um, yeah I, I i think is it still available some of the stuff that sold out like that there's that little mini disney castle it sold out but it's back it was back on the website last time i looked is it really sold out That's... It, it sold out uh but then it I looked this morning and it was back on there. I'm going to search so, for a new. I'll tell you what I so, want. So in our Facebook in our Facebook uh, group, Jabo, there's a, uh, one of the guys works at the Lego store. Uh -huh. And I think he said that the coins are going to, or somebody in our group said that the coins are supposed to come back. Are they going to let people get them again? Not the Mario coins, the other coins, the one that you were. Oh, uh, they're going to re oh. reissue them. The ones. I, I think. Yeah, I think. I think that he was saying those are supposed to come back. All those people that paid eighty dollars and hundred dollars yeah. for a coin. <laughs> so what was that little castle's? What was its uh it was name, a, number or anything? Or were, it's thirty four ninety nine. Thirty four ninety nine. It was the how castle. Miss the, how much it cost? Yeah. That's the only thing I remember about. It. How, how did you miss that, Joey? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, because that was one of them that I was actually watching for. And now I'm trying to look. Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's a little Disney cast mini castle. Uh, I guess it sold out again. I don't see it anymore. Under new. Or am I sorted by price here? Yeah. No, I don't see it. it must be sold out again. Yeah, I don't. So there's not a whole lot that came out October 1st. But, no, there wasn't, no. But from October 1st, I definitely want the app-controlled D1, D11 bulldozer, the Caterpillar. 
and the other it was that I want the Fender Stratocaster and make sure I got all the Jurassic Park sets. I think I might have missed one of them. And then I want to get the Tumblr. Okay, look up 40478. That's the set number. 40478. And I want to get the big Tumblr. <laughs> but it hadn't come out yet. It's like an architecture. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a it's a thirty five dollar. Yeah, thirty four ninety nine, and it's temporarily out of stock. Oh, it's out of stock again. Yeah, it was available this morning, then it's gone again. And yeah, I can't can't back order it. Can't do nothing. Uh, dang. Yep. So th see, what I'm afraid is going to happen is uh, the double VIP is going to come. Mm -hmm. and sets that I didn't buy October first because there was no promotion. Right. There's they're gonna be out of stock. Which they do that on purpose, I think. I think they know that certain things will go out of stock. So they sometimes they'll hold off on a gift with purchase or a double VIP to a time that would normally because they know there's gonna be those day one people that want to get the mm -hmm. set day one. So they let all those people buy their sets and then they bring out the promotions. Okay, so I gotta notify I am over 18. I have read the terms of service submit. So now they're gonna send me an email when it's back in stock. Yeah. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, look. I, yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> I've been on I've been on the uh the list for Home Depot for these uh 60 drawer cabinets for two years. <laughs> those things you, you know, those things are drying up. The cabinets? Yeah, the, the storage drawer cabinets that we use. Yes. Do, they so are Harder they were so cheap at Home Depot originally, but, but yeah, you, you, the ones that you use that you, yeah, you've been yeah. using, those are those are all out of stock too. Wow, it's because the, the they were the only ones available anywhere like like that. But yeah, now you can get the uh, you know the one I should, told you I got that's a little bit yeah. smaller. That's the one that's readily available now. Mm. You can get it on Walmart. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it. At, you can get it at Home Depot. It's, it, Walmart and Amazon, and it's the cheapest. They're like thirty bucks. Yeah, there. Were, I still kind of regret. I've had two people in the last year say they don't want to um, do the BrickLink anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One offered me all of their all the stuff they'd bought on clearance. They were just like, I don't feel like parting it out. I'll sell it to you for like two hundred fifty dollars, and it was like two thousand dollars worth wow. of stuff and then another guy is here in georgia he he was just gonna sell me his whole store with all the st stack owns and stuff and it's like i should have yeah, i think he offered me like two or three thousand dollars and his inventory was like it was a lot <laughs> it was like, <laughs> and i was like i can't really i didn't do it yeah because it had been space problem and then consolidating it and it'd been a lot of work yeah. Ooh, that's a good deal. It was a good deal. Though. That's kind of where I'm getting. I'm I'm just about. Uh, what do I got? One, two, three. I have six more of the bin of the stack on Acker Mills. I have six more of those, and then I will be. I will have all of my stuff used. You know what I mean? Everything has been filled mm -hmm. up, and we've got plenty of sets to part out. It's just a matter of you know getting the time to uh, get it all parted out and put in a store. But then after that, yeah, I'm, I'm to the point now. It's like, okay, now I need to find a new system that, well, you know, that are going to stack and, and I can get a bunch of or whatever. Like you I know, said, that, that one that's at Home D, it's just a little bit smaller. It's, uh, I don't know. I think it's missing one row. So what is that? It's like six drawers short, maybe. Right. But it's, I mean, it's it's more than what we were getting. Is that is that the HDX brand or whatever? Is no, the Depot's? one that it's home. It, uh, it's at Home Depot. It's like thirty five dollars. But at, at okay, Walmart, the same one. At Walmart, the same one is thirty dollars. It's on Amazon too for the same price as Walmart. Hmm. It's uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's 36 small drawers and six big drawers or bigger drawers. Are the drawers about the same size as the yeah, they're exactly Yeah, they're the exactly the same size as the ones we use. It's just... Okay. It's, just a smaller case. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Hmm. You know, it, it it's miss if you look at us a, a the stack on that has the small drawers in the big drawers. Yeah. The, it has nine of the big drawers. This one only has six of the big drawers. Ah. So that's how much shorter it is. It's 36 small drawers, but it's only six small big ones versus nine. So it's that much shorter. So when you stack them up, it's that much shorter. So I wonder why these are getting harder to get. Is I mean... It's got it. Um, I don't know. Pandemic. I mean, well, you gonna, think it's just it? I'm going to tell you, it has to. It. So I, you know, got you know, I work at a grocery store, and in Louisiana, unlike in Texas or probably, I don't think you do it in Georgia, and I'm certain you don't do it in Indianapolis. We don't have liquor stores. Our liquor stores are inside the grocery store. Right. So you don't have to go to a separate liquor store, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so I'm familiar with the liquor deal. Our liquor is blown out, and there are, <laughs> there is liquor in cargo cargo containers on cargo ships that are just out in the water because there's no what nobody to unload them. Oh, oh yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So so. That's just that's if they can't get liquor unloaded, I can imagine they can't get plastic unloaded. So that's you, why, <laughs> this is just probably a they're on cargo ships, just can't get them in the United States. Uh, my liquor manager today follows it a little bit. He said there's 22 cargo ships full of containers that need to be imported into the U.S. that can't get unloaded. And don't they? have to do like customs inspections of stuff too um i'm sure they do that? i'm sure they do yeah i'm sure they so I, i'd be willing to bet you that there's a lot of that stuff like that i mean it maybe it maybe it's already you know already made and it's in just in shipping containers that's why it's been out of stock so long yeah i, I talk, talking about this made me think of that that large bricklink order i sh shipped to canada <laughs> I, got oh, I, thought you was, it, I, I thought you was gonna say one coming from Budapest. <laughs> it was in, no, it was in customs for twelve days, which wasn't too bad. Yeah, but yeah, wow. Budapest still hadn't come. Wow! And it, you know what? Um, I'm starting to think it might be on one of them ships. <laughs> oh, yeah, because that's. I mean, I'm just, well, you can't. I have a package so from June that still hasn't arrived. Oh wow! So there's a there's a lot of stuff in the store that you can't get because of material. Like there's uh, glass jars, plastic bottles. Oh, they just, don't they just don't have them. That's why you go try to find Gatorade. It's big. It's yeah. Big as, go try to find Gatorade. It's because of the plastic bottles. We uh well okay so then uh, I make plastic. So and... try to go try to find Lunchables. Lunchables. Or Capri Sun. So Dang. you know what happened to us is you know we put we put pellets, plastic pellets into, among other things, those Gaylord boxes. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, a big giant cardboard box. Guess what we ran out of? And it wasn't just us. It was like the whole United States. Mm -hmm. Glue to glue the boxes no. to the pellets. They did. You know wow. they. You know they put a little spot of glue. It's just you know it's like. Um, it's like hot glue, you know, mm -hmm. whatever they, whatever that crap is. And then, and we ran out of it for a while. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, we can't put it in boxes no more. Of course, you know, we still put it in rail cars and everything, but. And it's the supply chain only takes one thing. Mm -hmm. mess up the, the whole, it's like, even with the technology that I deal with, it's like, we've had a project that was supposed to have been done last month that it's been put off to November and it's really probably going to be January because one part that mm. we can't get and it's the part that connects it to the internet. And it's like, Oh, it's like, yeah, the manufacturer can't get a part, the chip they need to finish making them. So it's like, wow. It's well, supposedly that was a problem with motor vehicles. They didn't have any mm -hmm. cars on these lots because all the cars were made, but they couldn't get the chips, mm -hmm. the computer for the computers in them. Right. Yeah. Crazy. Yes, it is crazy. Oh, but Lego Lego keeps on making thousand dollar sets though. 
That's what that's what's amazing. It's like how <laughs> and here's the thing good to, for it's everything just, that's going on in the world that they're still yeah, making these. Right. Well, and the thing is, is it's it's uh you know, it's like what Kevin always said, they're gonna keep making those and they're gonna keep making bigger, more expensive ones as long as we keep buying them. Mm-hmm. That's exactly that's that's, that's our own fault. It is that's, that's look in the mirror. Mm-hmm. As as and you know, we complain, but we yeah, pick and I, choose what we want to hey, buy and so I, I've I've noticed that okay you can complain too much and sometimes you can, you can overreact, but I've seen people that have tried to be positive, but they're uh, in how they almost have a disdain for people who speak negatively of things. Oh, I'm just going to be positive. It's like you deal with Lego long enough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're going to find something to complain about. Even when it's, uh-huh. I just, I just chuckle in my heart when I see somebody that's trying to be positive and something happens to them and they're trying to, it's bad. It's not like really bad, but it's like, it's, it's, uh, it leaves a negative feeling and they're trying to express it in a positive way. And I'm like, yes, no, not that I relish in other people's misery, but yeah, this is right. Not- yeah. 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 So, Hey Earl, the other day, I, I think we talked about me and, me and Jabbo talked about it for a minute before the podcast last time, but I know me and you don't use the software to part out sets into BrickLink. We do it directly off the website, right? Right, right. Okay. So I noticed the other day that if and I'm on, I'm trying to do this. Um, why did this go where it went? <laughs> um, so if I hit part out and. Uh-huh. Under consolidate. Okay, so I do my normal thing, part out the whole minifigures, do the whatever sales price I'm going to do. Uh, and then I check upload into stock room A. Okay. And then under consolidated, I put new price, new tier pricing, mm-hmm. uh, old bulk amount, old sale, old remarks, but new stock room options. And then when I do that, and you go to the next page, and then that's where we get those little red ones that say it's in. You already have it in your store, or whatever. And then you, you know, you kind of got to be careful there, where you can kind of get yourself messed up. But if you do the new stock room and old remarks, mm-hmm. and just go through that next page, it takes everything, even if you have it already, or or you're adding a new one, and it puts it in stock room A. Oh, so then it's not available. Like if you if you say you're adding oh, 50 so- and you had fifty in your store, the fifty in your store would not be available anymore. Correct. Mm-hmm. But okay. now it's all in Bricklink. You don't have yeah. to. You don't have that worry about oh, is it going to time out or is it not or you know the internet go away. Yes, it does pull them out of your store. But I mean, for me, I mean, it, you know, it might be out of my store for an hour or two while I'm doing mm-hmm. that. It shouldn't be a big deal, but it. To me, it's actually been a big deal. It actually goes a lot faster because now me and Heather can actually, she can work off like her computer and I can work off the tablet and we can, you know, we could just kind of do our own little thing and just kind of knock it out pretty quick. Uh, mm-hmm. And then, you know, it, it's, it, it brings all those remarks in where your, your parts are. And I just go down there. And it's like, as soon as I take those parts and I put them in the drawer, I just uncheck stock so- array and hit refresh and, they're gone. So, if, so if you have fifty in drawer seven hundred, and then uh-huh. you're gonna add, you're gonna add twelve to it. So now you got sixty two, and you move sixty two to stock room A. Right. Right. So yeah, then, it'll, but it'll still so say then, drawer seven hundred. Yes. Yes. So so then, I got you. So so then you upload it right away, but you're not putting it away right away. You yeah. consolidated the remarks. So you still have everything without a remark that's not in your store, yes. in the stock room. In the stock so room might, A. So everything's in stock room A. So I got you. Yeah. And then how do you load it back into your store? You just uncheck stock room A. Okay. Right? And then it just goes right back into the store. Yeah, you can do it all at once. Like you can put everything in the store, and then you kind of do it all at once. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it, it actually say, I mean, it's something to play with next time you try it or really, cause yeah. it, it's saving us a little bit of time. 
uh, because it's you know it's always one of those things that we get when we get to that point where it's like you got to kind of get you got to figure out where your stuff was before it consolidates them you know and then you're like chasing it or whatever but uh and then you're having to fiddle with it yeah because i usually just i scroll down and i put Mm -hmm. them away I put mm-hmm. them away as I'm scrolling down, and then I get to the bottom and I hit the upload button. Right. Yeah, I've put them in the and, drawers before. I've uploaded before too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then I because I figure if it times out, all I gotta do is go back and redo it. You you do yeah. You can recover from it. it. It's it's not terrible, but this way, this way you don't even have to worry about that. You just right. You do your part out. It, now when you go to that screen, the one that we're talking about, where we scroll down and put the parts away. It won't have your remarks there then, right? But it, it'll it say it's going to consolidate it or it's going to say you already have them, whatever. Just go ahead and hit that button where it says verify, I think, whatever it is. And when it goes to the next one, and they're going to all be, and then you go back and look in your inventory stock room A, it's all there. Now, it's, like I said, it's pulled all the parts that you already have. It'll pull them out of your store, but you can just go back and uncheck them once you put them up or whatever you're going to do. I, I like it. And do you... Do you still like um, when you got a set that may have a different mold of a piece? <laughs> then, like when I was parting out those uh, World Racer sets, mm-hmm. uh, there was they were five of the same set, but three of them were one way and two of them were another way. And I could tell by just the way my parts ended up, yeah, that three of them had certain molds and. The other two had different ones of some of the parts. And they were major, like one of them, like the balls were totally different colors. Oh, wow. Um, I mean, usually it tells you right then when you do that, if it there's alternate parts or, you know, because uh, Heather always hates that because she'll <clears throat> she'll holler at me. She says, this is this is one of those I mean, screwed up ones. <laughs> so well, yeah, yeah. Because you, you got to figure out ones, what you got. Have you done the ones that were actually a different build? It's the same set, but it's a different it's they, I, they improved I, it. I haven't ran across that yet. Okay. Or if I have, I didn't notice it, and my inventory may be off. Yeah. Which That's scares I me. Like, I like doing numbers that it's easy to tell from how many pieces you got if you yes. got the order of magnitude, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> no, it's yes. Yeah, so we definitely play that game. There's three <laughs> sets. There should be at least three of these, or six yeah. of these, or nine of these, or twelve of these. Yeah. I should have a multiple. If I got five, I should have a multiple mm-hmm. of five here. Exactly. Not... <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't used the the BrickLink upload feature because I'll I'll usually go through with the brick stock and then. Right. Upload it all at once. Once I've gone through and verified all the variants of the, of right. the parts and stuff, and then. I'll upload it sometimes and I don't even have the parts put in the store yet, but I know if somebody orders something, we got to dig through that. But the thing I was saying that either way you do it, either you use the software or you use BrickLink is if you, if you get the system where you can put the parts in order, (laughs) like have them set up in order where you can put them in your store in the order of your drawers. Oh, that yeah. would be a real. Tr- there are people that are able to do that, right? It's, mm. But it's See, like, I can't. I can't even I think, remember the the order of the colors. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. So I know since everything's so random, I couldn't. I couldn't yeah. do it. Right. I know. So black I group things by color <laughs> when I'm parting them out. Yeah. So I do all the black pieces first, and then the blues. I just work my way down alphabetically like that. Right. Yeah. Yep. 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 <laughs> But well, and and I always run out of space. No matter what we're trying to part out, we run yeah. we end up running out. So you end up having to stack the colors and yeah. you know, try yeah. to. Well, I'm telling you, Joey, you need to look for uh, after Christmas. You need to look <laughs> for these advent calendars on clearance. Oh, I know. Oh, I've got yeah. Because got... you get to, because you can part them out in these advent calendars, and then you know you yep. get two to a tomato box. And you fill them with these, yep. those little these little cups, and then. If you run out of drawers, you just everything that doesn't have a remark is going to be left in there, and you can just keep shuffling them from there into your drawers as your drawers empty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we definitely use those little trays with the uh, with the Dixie cups in them to pick from. Mm-hmm. That has been that has been one of the best things ever for that. 
But yeah, you're right. We could we could use them to sort in too. Because, you know, the things you sent me and then the little bowls, like the same things that I think you use, Jabbo, they, you, you got, you know, whatever. If you're parting out five sets, there's always going to be, there's going to be that one part that you only have five of. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's taking up that space on the table. It's like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> be a yeah. five by five, one by one trans orange little pieces or something. Like, uh -huh. come on. <laughs> So let me ask you this. When you're putting parts in drawers and you're running out of drawers and you know you're going to fill it up and you're going to have leftover, do you put the part that you think will sell the quickest or the part that's in the most quantity? Or do you just put whatever you grab? No, well, I just I go like you said, I go down in order till I run out of drawers. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so right now I, I haven't filled... Um, I I still have empty cabinets, right? I still have six empty cabinets, so I haven't hit that hit that spot yet. I haven't had to make those make those decisions. So uh, well, the, this is where the, the the one decision is always put the minifigures in first. Well, absolutely, yeah. especially the hundred dollar <laughs> ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You Anything else put that really in, matter as much. You might want to put that one in a little baggie before you put it in. Oh, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even that. Oh my. And don't build it. No. Nope. If it's nope. if it's a well, high dollar minifigure, don't build it. No. If well, you have built it, take it apart and then ship it. And they won't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, all the minifigs that I all the minifigs that I put in my store, if they're if they're used, they're usually built. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, and even those, and because I don't deal with a lot of used minifigures, yeah. probably a handful of used mini. There's there's not even a double handful of used parts in my store, but there are some. Uh, but all my yeah, all the minifigures are broke up into little pieces, and they're all put in bags. So I I build them, I yeah. build them. Yeah, that's the one joy I get out of putting out sets is building the fig. Unless it, and you know it's mainly just superheroes. Most of the other right. I part out now, but yeah, and that's I'm gonna have to start watching that because there's I did some of the um, well. Uh, were they the then, hidden sides or something? And yeah. the part, the figs were, they're all under $5. And I'm like, I'm not selling in a fig for under $5. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I parted all those hidden side figs out and those pieces sell. Maybe do they? Parts sell. Yeah. Well, I think that's what I'm going to do. I have several sets of those hidden side left to part out. I have, you know, we have like four of one and three of the other. And so, yeah, I don't know. Those, we got some. Those, they sell. That's what I'm going to do then. I'm just going to part them out as pieces instead of as figures. I, I so, just the other, wait. <laughs> <laughs> so the other day I was building a, a Harry Potter set and it was, it was supposed to have four tiles with the stud, you know, the, it's like a one by four tile with the two studs that are off center. So when you put like one floor on top of the other floor, just like a modular, it kind of connects it, but it's not really connected because it's, tile right so it had three of those like it was supposed to and then it had one one by four tile with no studs on it so i didn't huh. get her i got a wrong piece in it and <laughs> it was in the numbered bag and everything wow you That's... ever seen that <laughs> no i've never no <laughs> yeah i have gotten a different piece than what should have been in a set yeah. It's, it's, it's like you don't realize it. It wasn't one I was parting out. It was one I was building. And I was like, I know. It. And you just well, you go back and it's like, wait, this piece isn't even. You, you look at the inventory yeah. and it's like it's not even in the inventory for the set. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Yeah, I've had that happen once, but I can't so remember I, what the part was. So I went to Lego and and they sent me that. You know, they sent me the replacement part. That got here extremely quick. I thought it was going to be like a month. It got here in less than two weeks. About about Must seven, have had it eight, in North seven America. or eight days. Yeah. Uh, so get this. I had somebody message me on Instagram. And they were like, I have a Lego set. It was missing a part. And I contacted Lego. And they sent me the part. But it was the wrong part. <laughs> and I was like, what was the part? So he sent me this part number. Well, I didn't, I didn't recognize the part number. I put it into BrickLink. It was um, Finch Dallow helmet, which was in one set that was only 
available for a very short time in 2017. <laughs> and it's like the figure that he's in is like $600. Woo! And I'm like, dude, come on. <laughs> you know what you're doing. I was like, yeah. this, I, I wanted to go like, you don't waste my time. It's like, they're not going to have a discontinued figure. Even, even when the set was new, you weren't going to be able to get that on. No. Uh-uh. Right. I, I was like, you're right. just trying to pull a fast one. Yep. Yep. <laughs> See if you can get a sucker to bet or no. Yeah, yeah. Bite off on that. So. Well, anyway, we're two hours yeah. now. Oh, this yeah. is a long one. It's like once yeah. we went into podcast mode, we just got real talkative. <laughs> <laughs> Where you want to get us out of here? All right, get us out of here, man. Was, I forgot what we were doing today. Oh yeah, we did our. Tell us how we did on our picks for the our our bracket. We're down to the final four. Are final you excited four. to see who wins? Are you already mad because we eliminated your favorite year? If so, subscribe to Rick Train. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, support us. Support us by, by the support. The, wait, I can't talk. I forgot how to talk. It's been two hours. <laughs> be sure to subscribe to Brick Trains and Mardi Gras Man 2 3. We'll be back in a couple of weeks with another one of these episodes. Yep. A full right. podcast for you guys. See ya. Later, guys. Bye. I got tired and forgot how to end it. Yeah. <laughs> Just had to put it on the screen for me. Okay. That's what I've been using anyway. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, let me get that up real quick because I did not pull that up. My tipper truck has been washed. It's starting to get washed too many times. Look, it's starting to fade. Is it fading? Oh no! Uh, it's not really. It's not really fading. It's starting to like peel. Oh, that stinks. I'm not going to wash right, my I'm, shirts. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to wash. I'm gonna have to wash it inside out and try that. Yeah, I think that's the way more, all the printed shirts. It should wash them inside out. It helps keep yeah. them from rubbing against the other clothes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey Charlie. So let's see what we are. 29 2019 and 1986, right? That that's and then 20 2002 and 2018, right? That's the four. Yeah, we're down to the final four, right? No, we still got Oh, I don't have my no, we, bracket. No, we've got one side. We've got the final on one side. On oh, the one so side. We need, we need to do one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got we've got two of the four. So we need we need to get the other four today. Two, yeah, okay. 20, 2019 okay. and eighty six and two thousand two and twenty eighteen. Yep, okay. that's what I got. Okay. All right, let me get my notes for my awesome joke. Are we ready? <laughs> I'm ready, Freddie. All right. <laughs>